Good morning. My name is David Graycheck. I'm the pastor of the church. Uh, I'm deli delighted to be with you this morning. I have just a couple of announcements. Then, David, you've got a couple. Um, we've got our Bible study that gets into the uh, second chapter of Philippians coming up this Thursday. Uh, join us at 5:30 for that. That would be. Uh, it, it, we've had a good time just looking at what God is teaching us and looking at what Paul has to say and and actually looking at a little bit about some of the challenges. That, that Paul has in, in giving us just such a letter. Uh, David, you, you mentioned you had a couple messages. Good morning. I wanted to let you know that we will once again be hosting a family in need through Family Promise of Martin County starting June 18th to July 2nd. We'll be sending out emails as the time gets closer to recruit volunteers for delivering meals and for possibly cooking meals but I wanted to let you know those dates so that you have them on your schedule. That's June 18th to July 2nd. Thank you for your help. If you'd also note on, on the, the schedule for the office is open Tuesdays through Thursdays from 10 o'clock until two o'clock. I just wanna make sure everyone was, was making note of that. On the front of the cover is my cell phone and it is correct, I did put it on there correct. Um, if you ever need to get together, would like to talk, um, just call me on that and then we'll meet wherever we'll meet at your house We'll meet at the church. We'll meet wherever I, I'm, I'm all over the place So uh, not that I want to have all my conversations on the phone, but I'm happy to meet with you I just need you to let me know as soon as that is and we'll make sure we don't miss each other. So with that, let me uh, Start us off with our call to worship You'll find it in our bulletin also on our screen Shout to God with songs of great joy God has made us whole. Come, let us celebrate the love of God. Amen. Let's all stand and rise and sing our opening hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. Let's sing together.
Amen. Please be seated. We come to worship a holy God. We come to offer our prayer. Will you join me in our opening prayer, our corporate prayer together? Oh God, your son Jesus prayed for his disciples and sent them into the world to proclaim the coming of your kingdom. By your Holy Spirit, hold the church in unity and keep it faithful to your word so that breaking bread together we may be one with Christ in faith and love and service now and forever. Amen. It's at this time I invite you to go before our Lord in silent confession. Loving God, we thank you that you hear our prayers. Be with us as we, we take care of this emergency. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's at this time, let me invite you to greet one another in the name of Jesus Christ.
for those of you that are joining us from home, we had someone fall in the back of the sanctuary. So if you all would, would you, would you pray with me now? We're going to pray for Miss Karen. Oh, loving God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for our friend. We lift Karen up to you that the doctors may figure out what caused her to fall today. Lord, we ask that you comfort her, give her strength, and give the doctors wisdom as to how best to care for her. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, as we open God's word, which seems odd to do at the moment, I admit. Let me pray for our illumination. Loving God, we ask that you open our eyes and open our ears that we might clearly see and clearly hear what you would have us learn from this text. Lord, more than anything, we ask that you open our hearts and make yourself a home. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continue on in the book of Joshua. Joshua 6. Now Jericho was shut up inside and outside because of the people of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand with its king and mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city, all the men of war, going around the city once. Thus shall you do for six days. Seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. On the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. And when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat. And the people shall go up, everyone, straight before him. So Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. When he said to the people, go forward before the ark of the Lord, march around the city, let the armed men pass before the ark of the Lord. And just as Joshua had commanded the people, the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horn before the Lord went before him, blowing the trumpets, with the Ark of the Covenant. On the seventh day, they rose early at the dawn of the day and marched around the city in the same manner seven times. It was only on that day that they marched around the city seven times. And at the seventh time, when the priest blew the horn, Joshua said to the people, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the city that all was within it shall be devoted to the Lord for destruction. Only Rahab the prostitute and all who are with her in her house shall live. Because she hid the messengers whom we sent. So the people shouted and the trumpets were blown. As soon as the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted a great shout. And the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they captured the city. Then they devoted all in the city to destruction, both men and women, young and old, ox, sheep, donkeys, with the edge of the sword. Friends, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our Lord stands forever. I don't know that I can preach today. We talk about walls. 
that are coming down and the people heading out into an amazing journey and my friend is on a journey to a hospital. None of us know what lay ahead. None of us know the difficulties that might be just around the corner. Certainly had no idea what this morning would hold. I can tell you, like Joshua, I am grateful for a loving God. I am grateful that God is bigger than whatever we can imagine for ourselves. Doesn't mean it's easy. The walls of Jericho came down because... This was how God was going to prove himself to his people. This was how this whole journey was going to begin. And I'm probably off your camera, sorry. We have imagination as to how God would use this in a moment just as this. We have imagination of setting up for a fellowship hour only to come down and and, and collapse in the back of the sanctuary. God decided that he was going to show these people that it was about him and not them. You don't normally take a city. I don't know much about battles and I'm looking at friends I knew that were in the service. I don't know much about that. If I'm going to take over a land that God would have me take over, I probably would do it differently than walking around and saying nothing for seven days. But I'm not God. God says this is how it's going to happen. This is how we are going to do this because this is my plan and not yours. I don't know what lay ahead for my friend Karen, your friend Karen. But knowing her, I do know that God is in the midst of whatever's going on. But I'm also human, and that there isn't much else on my mind at the moment. God is good. God proved that to these Israelites who wandered and went all over the place. My prayer is that God proves that again to us today. Let's pray together. Loving God, we do want to trust you. We do want to lean into you. We do want to rely upon your strength. In our weakness, Lord, help us to know your strength. Lord, in all that we are and all that we do, help us to understand that you are stronger than we can imagine. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing the, the song in our hymn, hymnal, um, Trust and Obey. I think that's next. Let's, let's sing that together. Let's trust and obey. Please stand.
trust and obey. My friends, as the elders come forward to receive this morning's offering, I would ask that you trust in a loving God for the lives that can be affected by the gifts we give this day. Please give. Please be seated. Please stand. Loving God, we praise you for this day. We praise you for your word. We thank you so much for all that you are in our lives. Please accept these gifts of our tithes and offerings as us giving to you what we know first came from you. But Lord, please accept the gift of our lives, the greatest gift that we can give to your kingdom. Use us as you will. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing our closing hymn.
Amen, my friends. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the light of the Lord's countenance shine upon your face and give you peace. Go now in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And all God's children said, there's a fellowship time down in the